The other $1,500, give me the circumstances. Okay, I actually gave him the money one time, but I guess 1200 was towards the bills, and then the other 15 was supposed to be towards the marketing company. And that was in June. I don't have an exact date. What marketing company? I don't actually know the name of it, but it's an investment company that he could have invested I in. I want you to tell me the conversation that you had with him. First, you're saying that he had no money to pay his bills. Now, keep going. I okay. want the conversation. I, I'm actually getting bored with this he whole thing. So you have four minutes, four minutes to give me cogent answers to my questions. That's direct answers to my questions. $1,200, I understand. Bills, he didn't have money because he lost his job. Now, the next part of the money, I want you to tell me the conversation you had with him with regard to the other $1,500. He asked to borrow 3000 I didn't feel comfortable giving him that. And he said he really needed it because like, he was in a crisis at that time and he needed it towards the bills and towards the investment. And he'll give me the money back within the following month because he was supposed to get some money. And I told him I only had 2700 I was gonna draw 2000 from my bank and I already had cash on me. So I gave him the twenty-seven. I don't understand what I'm saying wrong. Like, I'm telling you what, what happened. Well, because somebody who works, allegedly, works hard for their money, puts money in the bank, clearly you get paid in cash. When was the last time you filed taxes? Ever? Yeah. When? I filed last year. And how much did you tell you earned last year? Um, I don't even remember. You want to tell me your version of the conversation? I got the $1,200 for bills. Yeah, the other $1,500 was for the World Ventures. No, no, no. Talk to me. The other $1,500 was Don't to invest into World Ventures. A World Venture? It's a No, no, I don't marketing. want you to try to convince me because I'm not giving you a quarter. I want you to just tell me what the conversation was you had with her. Oh, just basically that I had an opportunity that I felt could um, make some money and that I would be able to pay her back the money in full within a month. But I did tell her it was an investment. Oh, it was your investment. Well, she was going to give me the money, so it was her money. And then, of course, it would have been like a joint <laughs> thing. And Listen, I would have gave her money. I actually feel sorry for Miss Napier. I actually feel sorry for her. I think you took advantage of her. No such thing occurred. Yeah, absolutely. You absolutely did. And I think she's very capable of being taken advantage of. I know that's bad English. <laughs> Don't write to me. <laughs> Judge for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,700. Thank you. That's all. Bodies are excused. You may step out. It was a fair decision, but, you know, part of the money was, wasn't supposed to be paid back. I thought I was going to get my money back. I didn't think I would have to go through this. We were friends, so she knew exactly what I was going through when I lost my job after we came back from vacation. It affected it because we're not friends anymore. She's been avoiding my phone calls, so I don't know what happens from here. I just wish him the best of luck in whatever he's doing. Just a little lesson in responsibility, that's all. Never lend nobody money again.